gonna be hot all the time that I'm filming? Yes. Does this even count as a... I don't think this counts as a space opera. <laughs> everyone i'm monica and welcome back to my channel when you read where i talk about books and things i want to apologize for not uploading on sunday my mental health was kind of on a de decline <laughs> like <laughs> a wormhole if you will and then i found out that it was because i was fighting a stomach bug you know i wasn't feeling well and i was like all oh, stressed out and then it turns out i just had a stomach bug which was really bad on sunday but i'm all like i'm not all good now but i'm pretty good now so you don't care. <laughs> I always start these videos with something like this. Anyway, yeah, Space Opera September. I'm so excited, except that I don't really like space operas. <laughs> I know that I read a lot of sci-fi, and surprisingly, I do read a lot of space operas, but they're not my favorite genre. I think the world building and stuff like that is a little bit too much for me sometimes, and sometimes it's hard to over-explain space travel, and I'm just like, Fine, get on a ship and just travel in space. I don't care about the logistics of it all. But anyway, I want to participate because if there was ever a reading, reading, <laughs> a, a readathon that um, was like for me, this is it. So I want to participate. But what I'm going to do is I'm not going to have a set TBR for it. Hear me out. I have a lot of books on my Kindle and I have a lot of books on Audible and I have a lot of books on, on Scribd that could fit the prompts. But I don't want to be like, I'm going to read this one and this one and this one and this one and this one. I just want to give myself the, the, the challenge of reading as many space opera books as I can that I already own. Now there are some that are set in stone because I'm doing some buddy reads. So let me, let me bring this up. I am reading Dune. Um, with Rachel from the Shades of Orange. It's not like an official buddy read. We're just gonna read it together And I wanted to show you this edition because nobody has this edition because it's this it's in Spanish, but It has the the illustrations of the folio society. I want to look for a good one. Hang on This is a good one So it has those illustrations. I'm not gonna be reading this big hardback. Oh my god. Here is Mr. Harkonnen isn't that beautiful? Um, I'm not going to be reading this big chunk. I'm going to actually be reading the audio because I've been consuming the Dune books and audio ever since I started reading the Dune books. And that has been doing, going well for me. I love the narrator and I love consuming it in audio. So I'm going to be reading Dune by Frank Herbert. I'm also going to be reading Nofic Gloss by Essa Hassan. Now I did challenge my buddy lena from sufficiently events lena to read this we're not gonna buddy read it but i was like you know what i have it and i would be happy to talk to somebody about it so i got this for christmas last year and i haven't read it and i'm 100 percent sure that this fits the the bill this is about a boy whose planet is destroyed it's found family there's a lot of space travel um yeah Enter a universe of daring space battles and impossible technology where planets can be destroyed in the blink of an eye and where the galaxy's most valuable substance, Nofic Gloss, is in the hands of one young man who will tear it all down. Sounds fun. I tried reading it once. The only thing that I don't like is apparently this has like time travel. I don't know. I'm reading that one. The other one that I'm for sure reading is the one that Lena... <laughs> Sorry, I'm still like loopy from, from from my stomach bug. But the one that Lena uh, challenged me to read, which not so excited about, not gonna lie. But I was already planning on reading this, so or like at least having it as one of the options to read, and that is Velocity Weapon by Megan E. O'Keefe. So here you go. I'm not sure what this is about, <laughs> but it counts, so that's all that matters. I'm going to give you like a little rundown of all the other books. Now, all of these books are on my Kindle. My Kindle is bursting with books. It's just like, it. I just keep buying books on Kindle. I have to stop that. And then I keep not reading them because, of course, I don't see them physically, so I don't read them. Some of these are novellas, some of these are books. Novellas, uh, there is a challenge to read a novella, so 
you know, we'll, we'll, <laughs> we'll make it work. But these are, I guess this is basically my tentative TBR. I'm gonna read some of these books and then by the end of the month you're gonna find out which books I read. So this is gonna be fun. So the first book I have is Home by Martha Wells. Um, this is between two of the um, Murderbot Diary, um, Mur Murderbot Diaries series, I guess. Um, I don't know which two it is, but um, Murderbot counts, so this counts. Then I have been saving this for Space Opera September. I have Fugitive Telemetry, Telemetry by Martha Wells. Um, this is the next book or the next novella in the um, Murderbot Diaries series and I love Murderbot and I can't wait to get to this one. Then of course we have Dune, oh my god this book is so heavy, Dune by Frank Herbert which I actually don't think counts as a space opera because it's not in space, well I guess parts of it, I mean it is, there is some space travel, we're gonna just say it counts. So uh, we have Doom by Frank Herbert, that would be a reread for me. Then we have Fire Walkers by Adrian Tchaikovsky. Um, this is about people in Mars. Yeah, that, that's all I know. Then we have The Last Human by Zach Jordan. I was actually reading the, the um, synopsis of this for this video and this sounds so good. It's about basically like I don't know like an it's it's about an alien that adopts like the last human and this human is supposed to like be hidden because nobody can find out that humans are alive because they're deemed too dangerous and I don't know this sounds really amazing I, I have a feeling that I might pick this up and then I have another one that sounds really good I'm sorry I keep scratching my face I have a lot of makeup on to hide the fact that I look like a zombie under here so um yeah sorry about that Beacon 23 by Hugh Howie um this is like, you know, what are those called, um, lighthouses? So this is about lighthouses, but in space. And it's all about space travel and about ships getting, like, stranded in space. I don't know, it sounds really cool. It's just about lighthouses, but for space. That sounds like a really, um, interesting read. All right, then I have The Galaxy Game by Karen Lord. Um, this book is about space battles. <laughs> yeah, space battles, it's about space battles. It's supposedly like, not Hitchhiker's Guide, it's like, it, it's been described as a long way to a small angry planet meets Ender's Game. I mean, I dig, I dig. Then we have Leviathan Wakes by Jim S.A. Corey. Now, I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm probably not gonna get it to this one because this is a big ass tome and I'm already reading Dune and Dune is like 800 pages long and um, do you know, do you know? You all know what the, uh, by what Leviathan Wakes is about. It's, I, I actually don't, I'm not that sure. But it's about space expansion and politics and stuff like that and it sounds great it's just too long and too many books and you guys know I hate that okay those are all the books on my Kindle so I own these books and I should get I mean I I, I, I might get to some of them <laughs> I don't know. now here's the ones that I have on script so I divided them like that the ones I have on script which I really want to read is Winter's Orbit by Everina Maxwell. I was trying to find out if this was own voices but I don't think so. Now Winter's Orbit is about two princes <laughs> from two different planets that get married because to keep peace in the galaxy and it sounds very Star Warsy. I'm sorry, it sounds very Star Warsy, and and I, I just kind of am excited to read this book. I've been keeping like I've, I've been avoiding reading it for Space Opera September, so. Does this count? I, I, here's the thing with space operas, like it's supposed to have like an element of space travel, like a heavy focus on space travel. That's why I'm like doubting myself whether Dune counts, but I don't, I don't know. Then I have, you know, there's this whole thing of read a duology or a trilogy of complete. And I was thinking about reading A Memory Called Empire Again by R.K.D. Martin. And then reading A Desolation Called Space by R.K.D. Martin. Um, I think this does count. This does count. If you don't know, this is the story of a ambassador 
from a space station that travels yeah she travels to this big um like imperialistic um empire <laughs> she travels to this imperialistic empire um as because the the previous um ambassador got killed and she has to figure out the plot of this whole thing and there is some space travel and some space fights so i think that counts and then a desolation called empire is the sequel and it's only a duology and i i i want to know what happens i i want to read it so i can i can read those two then we have the darkness outside us by elliot treffer um these are two boys stuck in a ship this definitely counts there's romance I want to read it. It's YA. I want to read it. This is one of those like quick reads that I can get through like when I'm walking to class and coming back from class. Sounds like fun. And another YA read, it's Alien Echo by Mira Grant. Now we all know who Mira Grant is. I forget her name. Her, Shana McGuire. Um, um, this is a, a, an alien story and there's these twin sisters and one of them hope, and, and, and their ship is attacked by the xenomorph. I love the xenomorph. You have no idea how much I love the xenomorph. Um, and it sounds like Mira Grant's horror writing, which to me sounds B-movie horror writing. And there ain't nothing wrong with a good B-movie. Don't get me wrong. I love a good B-movie. So that one is also something that I'm like, if I'm on a reading slump or if I have to read something that I'm not really excited about, you know, or, or, or I just read something like Dune, like I just read like a really big tome and I want to like read something fun and exciting and you know, just a lot of fun. This one would be it. Then we have the things on my Kindle. I already mentioned Velocity Weapon by Megan O'Keefe. I'm definitely reading this. I cannot <laughs> DNF this because uh, then, you know, I lose and I am very competitive and I don't like losing so then we have a pill light in the black by KB Wagers this sounds also like space fights this all sounds like space fights like it sounds like space fights it's, I'm now getting a pale light in the dark confused with by the with the galaxy game I'm getting the pale light confused with the galaxy game I think they're pretty similar to be honest or maybe not I don't know they're just here. You know that I like to go into my books knowing little to nothing, so. Then I have another one that I really wanted to read. This was really popular back in like 2015, but this is 172 Hours on the Moon by Jonna Headstand. Headstand. I think that's how you say that. Now this is supposed to be like the moon, like it's, it's like a touristy destination or it's supposed to become a touristy destination and then they send a bunch of people and it turns out that everything in the moon is trying to kill them. That sounds like a lot of fun. <laughs> I don't know, that sounds like fun. And that's pretty much it. So that's like my, like, these are the books that I am juggling and seeing what I feel like. So I'm leaving myself a lot of room for um, mood reading and I'm also leaving myself a lot of room for doing whatever the fuck I want because um, that's it. So the only for sure books that I'm reading is Not Fet Gloss because I wanna knock it out of my physical TBR. Like, Almost all the books that you see in this shelf are read except this and it's been driving me crazy and then of course Dune because I want to reread it before the movie comes out and Velocity Weapon by Megan O'Keefe That's it. This is the video. It was just me talking to you about Space Opera September and possibilities of reading. Um, I hope that you get some possibilities out of this I, I, like I said, I, as much as a, a, of a sci-fi fan that I am, I'm not big on space operas. And last year I did space opera September by mistake, like I was just reading my normal <laughs> reading and then I was like, oh, I did it. And then I had to read Children of Time to get one of the prompts and it was horrible. I hated it. <laughs> I, I actually hated a lot of the books that I read for space opera September last year. I don't think I, I think I read Babel 17 also and I was like what is what is this <laughs> but anyway I hope you enjoyed the video thank you so much for your patience um I'm doing quite well right now uh I actually ate something and kept it down TMI but um we're doing well and I will see you in another galaxy far far away space traveler bye